Mark with Sagers here. You just happened to catch us. We were doing some uh, changing of fluids and oils, and I had somebody call out they having a problem with their chemical injection. So with the chemical injection, they said that this meter was flowing all the time. They couldn't shut it off or control it. So the first two things to check is, is if there's something lodged in here. This is your bleeder valve. So that's open on it. This is closed. So we do that, make sure it's closed. This here chemical injection, that shuts it off. If you have this shut off and that shut off, and this is still flowing chemical like crazy, that means your plunger has gone bad in the center here. So to just fix that, you get a, a new plunger kit from Butler. Take this off, part of your chemical injection. Take this off here, quick connects. Take this off behind here. And carefully take that off, spin that off, because that part there, if you have to unscrew this, which you will, that can break. It's very small in there. Once you get those pieces off, then you can spin these off. And these are check valves in here. So you want to make sure when you take those off, any little springy and plastic parts, which you can change out with a rebuild kit from Butler, make sure you notice how they're coming apart. Then you just unscrew the top of this cap. This splits apart and unscrews here. Follow, look what your plunger looks like. And there's a plastic disc in there. Just put them back together the way it is. Screw that thing back together. You also notice these arrows here showing the direction of the chemical flow. Just put her back together, snug it up, make sure your Teflon joints that are appropriate if you need to, and you're good to go. Bleed it. I have another video on how to do the bleeding of the system to make it all go. Set your meter and you're back in business. Give me a shout if you have more questions.